what's up y'all today we are in columbus ohio right now we uh just we just passed the dumb dumb who can't figure out how to stay in his lane like i don't understand how are you behind the wheel of an 18 wheeler if you cannot keep in your lane but yeah he almost took out me and a couple other cars because he's not paying attention and he doesn't care but anyway we have a partial load today, which is especially dangerous because now it's not like, oh, hey, yeah, the surge exists, but now it's like amplified because I don't have a full, you know, like a full trailer, you know what I mean? Like I only have like 18,000 pounds in the tank. You know, instead of like 48. But yeah, I'm very, very, very light today. Which is good in a way because, I mean, yeah, I kind of take off fast, but at the same time, the surge is so amplified that the surge has stopped me a couple times, taking off in a few areas, you know what I mean? But, I'm not complaining. This is just weird because apparently we had issues. Okay, so we had a tank there, 1211. It's got rejected by this place because I was told, like, I'm getting a partial. Well, I know, yeah, we do occasionally have partials. So, I was asking what the story with that other one, because they were saying, because uh, they were telling me, like, yeah, the other tank there just came back, and it's been sitting there for weeks, apparently. It's had milk in it for weeks, and I don't know what, what's going on with it. So, what happens is that's been there for weeks, and nothing's happened with it. So it comes down to it. I wish people would do the speed limit. And she's on her phone, of course. You know, the fun stuff. Yeah, you're talking on the phone too. And then you got this idiot in the left lane. So it Columbus is fun. Yeah, just like Columbus is so fun. She's on the phone, bro. She ain't paying attention. I ain't sitting behind you if you're gonna clown. But yeah, the uh, that load. That load had uh, it got rejected because of temperature, because it was a partial. So realistically, one of two things either happened, either the driver screwed around and it warmed up enough to where it got rejected, or that there's no real way to run this on a partial and the temperature is just going to be unacceptable loading it like that anyway. So you sit there and you think about it, that, so it, and they can't really tell because they haven't gotten any info on whether the what time the driver arrived after he got picked up, so. No telling. Anyway, they were saying it's like, it's either, it's like, it's, uh, Bynum's thinking it's like, it's supposed to be delivered in a smaller tank, but I'm like, uh, what they're saying is like, they're saying it's like, it's supposed to be in a tri or a quad axle tanker delivered because they lo load those over at Goshen, so. Because I, I as I was leaving, I watched a triaxle pull out of the loading bay. So I, I know triaxles can get in there at least. So a little bit bigger of a tank. So it's like they the orders were designed for larger tanks to be running back. So unsure, but yeah, that's what it seems like. And now I'm running a partial, and we're gonna see if we get rejected for temperature. Because if we do, I'm kind of going to be upset because I kind of, like, one, that was, like, the whole reason I got delayed yesterday, too, because uh, I was up all day. I'm like, bro, I ain't about to drive after I've been up all day waiting on this, bro. I'm like, I'm going to bed. So I got up this morning and took off, so. Uh, but, yeah, that's where we're at. It's, like, really, really kind of weird. 
but yeah, I constantly have drivers tell me they don't want to take the partial, so I ain't even worried about it. And then I got a, I, I got kind of, uh, I got kind of dicked in a way. I mean, uh, I only made, uh, I got like 800 after taxes and everything this week. Like, uh, it was like awful. Like my worst OTR week ever. So I, I really don't know. But like seriously, lately the money is like absolutely not cutting it at all. This is like getting like beyond ridiculous. Like they either gotta, but like the whole thing is I like, I like buying them, but the whole thing is like they, they've been keeping me running. Now they've just like, I've been getting kind of dicked and my paycheck it, it, it ain't even hitting a thousand dollars anymore. It's like, if I can't be hitting at least a thousand dollars a week, I gotta go. Like, I, I'm not about to be out here making less than $1,000 a week. I was making that with CRST at least. And they were just absolutely awful. So, like, uh, the whole sitting around thing all the damn time is like, yeah, I'm getting paid for doing nothing. But at the same time, it's like, man, I need some money. Like, I, I got... I, I need money and it's like... It, 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 it just ain't cutting it anymore. do I ain't got anywhere else to go and I ain't slamming the brakes so I can and, and stopping on the interstate so I can let you on because you don't know how to yield bro people are unreal anyway but yeah it's like I, I, I've gotten dicked on like the last month of paychecks and it's just kind of like getting old like, it, it kind of is getting old. Like, I, I'm, like, half tempted to talk to Gary because, like, if, if this, like, it, like, if my pay can't come up and, like, I can't get something. Be in the left lane. need to be making like at least 1500 a week I'm like now they got me knocked down to like 900 a week and it ain't even uh, I can't do it anymore bro one mile, but yeah I'm about ready to deliver here in a minute to 